Hello everybody, welcome to the end of my hiking day, but the beginning of my coffee day on the Isle of Skye. We are here, this is the ocean. Now I'm gonna show you how I make my coffee on the trail. For the last two years I've been a barista in Brussels and I found a quite lightweight way to make high quality, we're talking high quality coffee out on the trail. So the system I have for my coffee is a filter coffee system, so it's no espresso. I carry an Aeropress. This is an Aeropress. It's made out of plastic, which means it's really lightweight and it makes great coffee. I love Aeropress coffee. So what you will need is, of course, the Aeropress. It consists of three parts, one, two, Three. You will also need Aeropress filters. I keep them in a Ziploc bag to keep them dry. You will need a grinder. This is something that you can leave at home if you grind your coffee at home. I take beans, it improves the quality of the coffee a lot. And I found a grinder. This is the big magic. I found a grinder that fits into the Aeropress like this. So in my pack, mwah. I love this. So I take my grinder. Of course, you will need beans. These are beans from Och. It's the place I used to work at. They make great coffee. The coffee I'm having today is Colombia coffee. It has notes of grapefruit, berries, and melon. We love to see it. So that's the coffee I'm having. And then of course, you need gas, a stove, a little pot to boil water and water that's what you need so the first thing i do is i boil my water this is what i always do first so when i have my hot water i've grinded all my beans and i can make the coffee Oops. i take my stove then i already put the aeropress kind of into place to measure the water that i need so i don't waste water you're gonna need 250 milliliters of water it will evaporate a bit so i add a bit more boom i just add a little bit more boom and i let that boil voila now for the sound, I'm just gonna move it a little bit out of the way so the sound is still nice. Then you're gonna grind your beans. I've made on the inner part, the part that pushes through the aeropress, I made like little incisions with a knife so I know how much beans I have to take. So what I do is I put beans in here just until the little incisions. That way I don't have to take a scale and the weight is 16 grams of beans. So I grab the beans. Oh, oh my god, amazing. This seems quite okay. It's probably not perfectly 16 grams of beans, but if it saves me the weight of a scale, then I will do that. Then you take your grinder and you want to grind the coffee not as fine as espresso coffee, but a little bit more coarse. Now, how you do that with this grinder is you have to pull the thing here and fine is turning clockwise. So you don't take the finest one, a little coarser. Now, what I always do is I do a little test batch. I just pour a little bit of beans and I'm just gonna see how it comes out. Yes. This seems good. I'm just gonna show you what I have. So I have coffee that's this coarse. That's what you wanna have. Well, if it wouldn't be right now, I would adjust the thing here a little bit and I would try again. But as it looks good, I'm just gonna grind the whole batch. Oh my God, I'm sweating. Okay, it's done. Then what you do is you grab Two Aeropress filters. I like two better because the extraction is more even then. And you place the filters in this little black thing. You just place them in there. And very important with every filter coffee you ever make in your life from now on, you pre-wet the filter. So you just make it wet. Then you make sure you have your water and you take your phone because you're gonna need a timer. So you're gonna take this thing and this thing and you're gonna Put this in here, just a little bit, five millimeters. Place it upside down. I'm taking my coffee, I'm adding it to the Aeropress. 
Oh my god, it smells so nice. Woo! I make sure the grounds are evenly spread. I'm gonna hit start on a stopwatch and I'm gonna add like a fifth of water. Start and a fifth of water. A little bit more. Then, actually you wanna stir, but I'm just swirling. 28, 29, 30 seconds. I add all my water, all the way to the top. That's 250 milliliters of water. Now you take the thing that you can screw on top with your wet paper filters on it. You screw it on top and you wait till the clock hits two minutes. And then when the clock hits two minutes, you wanna place your cup on here. You're gonna invert it and you're gonna press for 30 seconds. The clock hits two minutes now. I'm gonna invert it. And I'm gonna start pressing for 30 seconds. Now, at the end, I'm gonna hear a sound like pssss. That's called the hiss. As soon as I hear that sound, I stop pressing. If you keep on pressing, you press more bitterness into your coffee, and I don't necessarily like that. I just stop when I hear that sound. The hiss is gonna come now. Ah, oh, that's the hiss. I stop and the coffee is ready. So the Aeropress is like a very tea-like coffee. Very soft flavors, but very clear flavors. It's a filter coffee, so the flavors aren't more clear. Watch out, because this coffee has a lot of caffeine. You don't want to drink this at the end of the day, because I did it once and I didn't sleep that night. I slept for three hours. <laughs> so you don't want to do that. I'm just gonna let this cool down. I'm gonna start drinking it. And voila, this is how I make the best coffee you can get for not a lot of weight on trail. Enjoy the coffee! Bye!